Hey everybody, this is Phil and I'm inside Buddies and Bad Times Theatre today talking to Mel Haig, the festival director of the 36th annual Rhubarb Festival. Hello, Mel Haig. Hi, Phil. People that are fans of Rhubarb, the New Works Festival here in the city, why should they come back if they've always been coming? Everybody goes on sort of a different journey of their own and I think that's what audiences enjoy the most about Rhubarb is that you can have your own experience of being here. And I could tell you what tracks I think you could go on, but really it's entirely up to you as to what experience you have at Rhubarb. You buy a ticket, you have a night, and we have, um, I think we have 15 pieces going on within this space every every given evening. So That's wild. I know. Yeah, yeah there's over uh, almost 100 artists in the festival this year. We have special presentations both week one and week two. Um, and we have some really exciting offsite uh, participations, namely with Oasis. Um, which is a high upscale sex club on Mutual Street. And they have an outdoor pool that's heated all winter. And so we will be doing a piece in February in a pool. Bring your mittens. It'll be <laughs> chilly for you, but warm and toasty for the performers. Yeah. And I think um, just a really interesting experiments with site specific work. I'm very excited. Mm -hmm. It's always exciting. Do you have one or two maybe in particular that are really getting to you this year that you feel this is going to be wild? Well, we have uh, Donorama, um, Brock Hessel is a group that's doing um, an adaptation of Hamlet that takes place in a bathhouse, and they'll be doing that as a site-specific piece in the bathroom downstairs. Um, and that'll be week two, so that's going to be really exciting. Sort yeah. of a drag bathhouse adaptation of Hamlet, which is just going to be absolutely <laughs> insane. For it's someone that's never experienced rhubarb, just moved here, they're from the prairies, they're eating at Salad King, what would you say to them? I think that like it is just that, that like you can have the evening of your choice at Rhubarb. Each piece is 25 minutes long, so you can mm -hmm. go in, have an experience, and get out, and go in and have another experience quickly, and you can experience a ton in a very short period of time, and mm -hmm. I think that's what's so exciting about Rhubarb to me. Well, thanks, Mel. And maybe I'll just ask you one final question, and that is, how many plaid shirts do you have in that closet of yours? Linda, that was not on the list. That was not on the list of no, questions. No, no, no. no someone get, this interview is over. I gave that question to Linda. Over.